Hello, fantasy waifu collectors. Um, what we have here for this month of August. The bandit update. I call it the bandit update, even though that's only one thing of several. Uh, the first would be this, um, on-screen keyboard. I'm trying to get this into, um, Steam Deck verified. I will need to have an actual keyboard, and this is being controlled with the uh, with the controller, nothing but controller, and look at that, it works. It only works for the login screen. I'm going to add it to other input text areas. Also, if you noticed on the login screen, there was a forgot password. If you forgot your password, you can click this, it'll take you to a website, and you can reset the password. However, that only works if you've uh, bound your email address, easy stuff. Similarly, I have changed password in the profile, and as it says, it can only be done if an email address has been bound to the account. Pretty straightforward, right? Bind your account, otherwise it's lost forever. Went through all the documentation, terms, and agreements, and I set it to, uh, must be over the age of 13 for consistency. On this main screen here, I've added some building descriptions. So if it tells you where to go to do something, then go to where it's labeled. Right? Right. Uh, the daily tasks, it shows when, uh, whenever there's a building ready for an upgrade. So I have like the quest post and whatnot. And also I've added these new icons here in the town. So the marketplace, level zero. Uh, it only has the items and of course the crystal shop. So, if I go into here and the marketplace, I want to upgrade it. The marketplace visually changes a little bit. I've added uh, art assets for the marketplace and updates here. On, and when you go into the marketplace, there's now equipment. Since I'm here, I can show the new Chi Pao. This is primarily for Sky, but of course there's a 10% chance for the uh, skill to be of a different nature. Go to characters. I've added the nature bonus here at the bottom, critical 50%. So if you equip a... Uh, let's do a... oh, I don't have any equipment here. Let's see... ah, so here's some, some glasses. They are for health, so of the tree nature. I've equipped it and hey, I have a 10% bonus. So the more that you equip of the same uh, nature, the higher this bonus is going to be. So if we go over to here, I have a mix of attack and agility, and then so on and so forth, attack and agility, agility and defense, because uh, this is kind of a newer account. Level two, you're gonna get a mix of stuff. That's fine. If we go to our test account here, this is a, uh, well, it's more tuned. Everything's built up, as you can see. We have a bigger marketplace, and with uh, everything unlocked, the training yard, uh, we have the war bands and the arena, which are locked behind the actual buildings. So if we go to the capital, I'm going to collect. And then the arena, I'm going to collect. And then going to the training yard, they are now locked. Unlocked with capital, unlocked with arena. Good stuff, right? Go to events. Formations here, they are at, they're all now hard-coded. And, uh, I mean, you couldn't change these anyway. There's a new button called autofill. And what it does, it tries its best here. So I'm going to clear this. And if I click autofill, it's going to populate it for you. And it's going to try its best to match the uh, L the nature to the slot. And this team is going to be okay, but a couple of explosions, these people are going to die like immediately, and this is going to be an actual disaster. So uh, it could use some player intervention with this team. The uh, waifu tuber is a new event. This is kind of in process. Right now it doesn't cost anything to play. It needs a few little additions, but mechanically it's here. Uh, I have a separate video posted of the gameplay of this. 
And what happens is your character will dance, and then after so many amount of time or amount of time, they will uh, you'll get an option to change clothing. Every change increases stress and fatigue. If uh, if the nature matches the character's nature, the fatigue only goes up a little bit. If it doesn't match, like this one, the fatigue goes up a bit more, so does stress, and she doesn't do the, the happy dance like this one. If you pick clothing that doesn't have any nature at all, uh, she doesn't like that. And uh, uh oh, we got someone who said something ba bad and they were banned. This is a uh, this is uh, generated text, it's not actual people. So, we're doing okay. Uh oh, stress is getting a bit high. We better stop soon. Uh, and there we go. Once we hit 100% fatigue, the stream is over. And the followers is our score. This gets updated to the leaderboard so you can compete with other people. I haven't tied in any rewards or resetting yet, but... Oh, uh, it's a new fun game mode. Make sure you check it out, or else. Well, let's go and in, dig into the quests. The quests itself are tied to uh, the upgrade level. So this is so the quest post starts at five, and as you upgrade it, you can get more quests and up to twelve. And uh, you'll always have a minimum of five key quests, which are these ones with the little banner. And any quests over that don't count as key quests, but you know they're fun to do, and that's how you get that's how you get stuff. Stuff is how you progress in the game, right? The base stats have been adjusted, so there's no more level one overpowered creature that'll just wipe your team. I also changed. Um, I won't show it here, but starting a new game when you get to the first five quests, instead of those being five hunting quests, they're one of each type of quest except for uh, harvest. So that has the player go through different quest types before the, well, during the tutorial phase. As it should, you know, right? Uh, we're going to do this hunting quest. There's been a big change with skills. They now run off the game timer instead of triggering from when a character attacks. It's a lot more responsive, but of course every skill needs rebalancing. And uh <laughs> Yeah. So just a complete obliteration here of the enemy samurai. Notice that the samurai were updated. And they are finished. The let's do another quest while I show this one. So So the stand bar slowly fills and this should be a bit more accurate. It's a bit off at lower values, I'm working on that, but it doesn't look as weird. So the character, I moved it 100 pixels to the left so there's no more overlapping, and there's also a better space here. And this one's too easy for this character, I'm just auto-applying it. So more space to react to trees, of course you can manually jump, but yeah, that way and see the health and whatnot. Of course, when the enemy is on screen, they will still slowly traverse, get closer, and capture the creature. I replaced it with a samurai this time just to show off the new samurai asset stuff. The adoption, I'm not going to play full game here. Actually, you know what? I might. Added a little house here. So every time a cat gets tamed, it gets sent to this house, and instead of being added to the quest uh, progress immediately, the quest progress will increase once the cat enters the house. I'm going to play this a little bit. And as you see the cat's going, it says cat tamed, and this goes up a little bit. Let's get a, a few more matches here. Um, Two, three. Then we can do. Oh, I missed a good one up here. And it's kind of clearing by itself because that's what stupid cats do. They clear themselves. Why wouldn't cats do that? Easy times. And this flow goes a bit better. You can see this number going up higher. Yeah, that was a good 
that was a good moment right there. Um, let's do... Oh, it's still going. Okay. Uh, let's do this, 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 this. And just like that, so the flow goes a bit quicker. Yay. The Harvest Quest, I lowered... Actually, it's not going to show it on this one. Ah, let's refresh for a Harvest Quest. Ah, the Harvest Quest, I adjusted the... Whoops. I adjusted the number for lower rank quests. So, at the very beginning of the game, you only need two good fruit. And since fruit moves so slow at the beginning, the mini game goes faster. This is about, what well, this is about a mid-level, so you need 10. It's being stingy with uh, apples, but finally, the urgent quest. Uh, the whole update is called the Bandit King, even though he has a small part. This is that I'm using an overpowered team here, but yeah, Bandit King. Uh, he's going to be the world boss for September, so you can meet him up a lot. And of course, he appears on the Urgent Quest. Uh, I've also put in more uh, <laughs> one hit. Wow. I've also put in placeholders for the backgrounds because that's in process. Because, you know, this is an alpha. That is it for the August update, the Bandit update. Thank you for watching. There's a new website. It's called fantasywaifucollector.com, and uh, go there, and you can get the game for free there, and uh, it'll download the, the launcher. The launcher will update the game and keep your game updated for new releases, for the monthly updates, and for new assets that are added. And make sure you like and subscribe, because this game is cool, and if you're cool, then you will follow it too. Alright, thanks, bye.